I uh, I know I just put in a lot of Ulta hauls. I know I said I was trying not to spend money, but I did not listen to myself. So here we are back with another Ulta haul. Um, this particular one was done kind of strategically. What I bought was um, with intention. It wasn't just shopping around sales and, and getting free gifts, which is a lot of times my strategy. It's not a good strategy, but it, here we are. First of all, I picked up the new Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette. It just dropped at Ulta. It's been on Urban Decay's website for probably about a month now, but they did just release it at Ulta. I picked it up almost immediately. I did that because one, I love the Naked collection a lot. It was one of the first prestige palettes I ever got was the Naked 2. So it has a very special place in my heart, the whole line does. So I normally pick them up when they first are released. Purple is also one of my aesthetic colors. So I really was like into it. I'm not sure how I feel about it. The eye look that we created today actually was done with the palette. I just bumped myself in the nose, sorry nose. It doesn't forgive me. Anyway, moving on. The, the eye look that I created was done with that. Uh, I believe that video posted first. So if it is up, then go check it out. If it's not up, then it's probably gonna be up tomorrow. So one of the two, who knows? Our lives are a mess, we're chaos. Just so yeah, so I did pick up the, the Naked Ultraviolet from Urban Decay. I, I did like it. My overall thoughts on it were like, perhaps wait for it to go on sale. But I'll leave it at that. Just perhaps wait, you know, like save yourself maybe 20 bucks, 20, 27 bucks, whatever. But still pretty. I really like how I look turned out if I'm being honest, even though I don't think that I would recommend somebody spending $45 or what, let me see. I've got the thing pulled up. I don't know why I wouldn't just look, but it was $49, so 40, so like maybe, a lot of times around Black Friday, I think they release like sales on especially some of the, not necessarily the originals, sometimes the originals, but not really. Normally it's like the later ones. So maybe check around then and see if they put it on sale. Just, you know, food for thought. Anyway, so I got that, it was $49. Um, I did, I've got two orders that were placed on the exact same day. I placed it on a Wednesday because you know, Wednesdays they do free gifts. Wasn't a free gift I was particularly into. It was actually like a little four piece Estee Lauder set. Estee Lauder is one of those brands that I'm kind of like, yeah, I don't really have any feelings towards it. I don't really particularly love it. I don't really particularly hate it. I just didn't mm, about it. So I was like, whatever, extra products, whatever. And I, you had to spend $60. So I separated it into two orders because I had like $130 worth of stuff. So I said, whatever, I'll get two of them, whatever, why not? So yeah, so that was a strategy. So for the other one for this, this is the first order that I did. Um, the other one I did get um, just three little sets of these like little cheap CoverGirl pencils for the eyebrows. Um, funny story, when my eyebrows were atrocious, these are pretty much what I did them solely with. I did not use concealer. I just used these really sharp, painful pencils. And then I would use Q-tips to go around to clean them up. And so I would like have and no concealer at all. Like there would be no concealer. So all day I would have like, they would take me like an hour to do eyebrows that looked awful. And then I would have like these red lines around them. Like they'd be concealed in like, just like red irritated skin because of how much I went in with like a Q-tip and like tried to remove the, the parts that I messed up. It was a horrible strategy. I don't recommend it. It was awful. And it was like five years of my life that I looked like this. So maybe if we get, if we, if we get big enough, maybe I'll release some of those pictures. If you really wanted to know, you could probably find them. They're on the internet. It's just that I don't, I'm not proud of it. So, but you know, you live and learn. That being said, a lot of, that's a lot of expose for why, why I bought three packs of them. They are some of the best for getting precise lines on the tip um, because you can really sharpen them into a very precise point. And I think they do a great job of kind of giving you just like a little bit of precision around those spots that sometimes, I typically have issues getting it to be like really even and really like pointed down here. I find they're really good for that. They're good for like filling in certain patchy areas. So I really still enjoy them, just not as like my only tool for creating decent looking eyebrows. Um, and I, I bought three of them. I was only gonna buy one. One, but I bought three of them because if I spent $15 um, at, with CoverGirl, I got this. It's a giant holographic bag and the zipper says hot girl summer. And I was like, you know, I'm a bag hoe. So I will do anything for a free bag. So here we are. I bought three of those pencils that'll probably last me for the rest of my life, but you know, whatever. And then when you look at like, look, you put them in there and it's kind of see-through. I like the bag. I like the bag. So I got that. Moving on to, to order number two, funny story. Somebody commented on when I did the, the baby Yoda look with the green eyeshadow when it just happened to be that I was wearing a baby Yoda shirt that day and I chose to do green eyeshadow and they kind of match really well. I mentioned in that video that I really like palettes that are like monochromatic, like they're focused on one color combination, like a, a green and it's all variations of green or it's, you know, pink and it's all variations of pink. And so somebody recommended, I think um, they call them the color books from Makeup Revolution, which you guys know I love Makeup Revolution. So I said, let me, let me research. So I Googled it 
and they only had like one or two left on the market that I could see and they, I had to buy them directly from Makeup Revolution's website. But while I was investigating, I discovered Makeup Re Revolution just dropped a new line and I was like, I have to get it. So I bought all four of those palettes. It is the Makeup Revolution Neon Collection. And let me see, oh my gosh, it keeps shutting down. This is just an absolute, this is just a nightmare. Every time I go to look at a price of something, my app is shut down and then I have to re-pull up the order and we have horrible internet reception in the particular room we film in. So it's just a, just a cluster all the way around. Okay, there we go. All right, so each one of these little guys was $9 in retail value, full price, no sale, nothing like that. Pretty good deal in my opinion, but look at them. Okay, so just tell me, I don't know how they appear on the website. They look a little different than what they look like in person. A Little bit misleading, not gonna lie. Just was a little bit like, nah, but not quite what I was hoping. Doesn't mean they won't be good, just not quite what I was hoping. So this, these are what they look like. That's two of them. This is two of them. I had every intention of grabbing my Huda Beauty uh, Neon Collection palettes, but I totally forgot to do that. So we're just gonna talk about them. I really saw these and I thought those are, they're going right after her collection and I wanna know if they're a dupe. When I compared the Huda Nudie, the Huda Beauty Neon, which is what I was trying to say and then it came out Huda Nudie, I, which I don't, that's not a word, but okay, here we are. The, the Huda Beauty um, Neon Collection has three palettes in it. I was thinking that these three palettes might be like dupes of it and then this would kind of be just like an extra one that Makeup Revolution made. Not really, they're, they're similar in packaging, but the colors are very different. Um, so I don't think that I would call it a dupe. I'm still interested to see like if I color swatch and if I compare the two, like are they gonna look the same? Are they not gonna look the same? My guess would be no. Still pretty palette though, I'm still excited to test them out. This one is the um, Electric Dreams one, very neutral actually, not a lot of neon going on. The biggest one would be that yellow in the center, maybe the oranges are kind of like a little bit, but like very, very neutral. I think this would definitely be something like my mom who is a more neutral person would probably get use out of. Then we've got the uh, Not A Dream and get a little bit more bright colors in here. I really like these two in particular, still some yellow shades um, and definitely some oranges, still not very neon. Then we're moving on to the party vibes. And this one, you're kind of getting more into the neon range. That pink is really bright. This pink is really bright. You got a really nice white shade that kind of would highlight some aspects of it. But overall, it's still kind of like darker shades and stuff like that. Um, and then our final one is the neon uh, up all night palette. And this one is a lot of greens and things like that. Once again, just a lot darker and more muted. Neon, I feel like is the wrong content. It's misleading. Cause I look at this and I go, the packaging is neon, but the, the colors aren't that neon. I've seen neon are out there. So I'm excited to test them out. But my original plan was like to do like, can I dupe the Huda beauties with this and like do one eye with one and one eye with the Makeup Revolution ones. And I don't think that's gonna be an effective use of the palettes. So we're gonna just do probably first impressions with these. All right, the next thing I picked up, Milani had a whole ludicrous light uh, highlighter collection that's normally like $10.99 and they were on sale for $5.49. So they were 50% off. And there were three of them and I said, I'm gonna buy all three of them. So I bought all three of them. I will say, not to spoil anything for anybody, but I use the Pinkaroo, which is kind of like a purpley one. Really pretty, right? Very beautiful packaging, really nice, like little kind of reflective holographic looking vibe to it. I use that with the the ultraviolet palette because I thought the purple might play well. It's not my favorite highlighter. I haven't tried the other two out, but if the formula is anywhere the same, it's probably not my favorite highlighter. It, they were $5. I spent $15 on the whole collection. I'm not really disappointed. I'll use them, but I won't. They're not my favorites, if I'm just being honest. I have to test the other two out, but just, it's hard when I've already used some of the products and then I'm doing the, unha the hauls of them and I'm like, it, eh, it's not really worth it. Just, a, just a, but they're pretty, they're pretty. And they were five bucks, so whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try the blue one. I'm hoping the blue one might be a little bit better. The issue, let me explain the issue that I had with it too, instead of just being like, this is, I just don't like it. Like the issue I had with it, it's pretty, I just feel like it was very patchy in application. Normally with a really good highlighter, you're gonna have like a really nice smooth kind of finish on it. And then it's gonna have like deep reflective areas that hit at different areas in light. Like when your light's reflected on you differently, it's gonna shine in different ways. I didn't feel like this. I felt like it was patchy and then there were just like giant pieces of glitter 
out there. I don't know how it looks on camera. I don't I don't know. I don't even know if you can see it. It might be just gone at this point. But that's how I felt about it. That's why I wasn't loving it. There are, I would rather pay a little bit more for like the one of the ABH palettes and just get some like real good blues and purples and pinks. Moving on. I got another one of the Estee Lauder kits, which is why I separated into two orders. And then the final thing I got was Juvia's palette. Uh, Ju I always want to call it Juvia's palace. Juvia's place just they had their uh, foundations on sale for like whatever, 30, 40% off, something like that. It was $14 instead of uh, 20, which is the normal price. And I just picked up another one. I had to make it to that $60 price to get the free gift. And um, I just love these. I only have one backup currently and I normally like to have at least two backups of my favorite foundation. So 14 bucks, great foundation. If you have not tried anything from Juvia's Place, I highly recommend them. Their palettes are great. Their concealers are great. Their foundations are great. I just love everything about them. So yeah, that's the haul. Hopefully it's a pretty quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, sorry, I kind of like bashed some of the products as I was explaining them. It's not that I don't think they're worth it. I was really excited to put in this uh, this haul video or to put in this order and then get these products to test out. I just feel like after I tried some of them, I was kind of like, eh, not what I was hoping. After I saw some, I was kind of like, eh, not what I was hoping. So yeah, definitely some good videos to come out of it, hopefully. But just, uh, yeah, I also want to be open and upfront with you guys, even as I'm unboxing them. So if I'm kind of like, I'm not sure you should waste your money on the Milani highlighters, which I'm not sure you should waste your money on the Milani highlighters, then like, I'm going to be honest with you guys. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that because we'd love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.